Hi, I'm Greg. I'm Max. I'm Finn. And this is Percy. <laughs> and this is Two Sons Sailing. We're going to be restoring this 1981 <laughs> Phantom sailboat that Max bought. But winter is almost here and it's getting cold, so we need somewhere inside to work on it. One second. <laughs> All right. Do you, think we, do you think we can put the boat down here? Not yet. Not yet? we got to rid of all this stuff first though, right? Yeah. Do you think Mommy's going to care if we put it down here? Yeah. No? Is, yeah. Mom, is Mommy here right now or is she on a trip? On a trip. Teach her. Okay. Alright, so we got to clean all this stuff out of, here, out of here so we can get a boat in our basement. Do you want to know a, tr a YouTube trick, Max? What? All you have to do on YouTube to get a lot of work done is snap your fingers. So, not you, Finn, you can't, because it's not your boat. I know how. Max, you gotta snap your fingers. Just, just snap. Can you do it? Can you? Wait. It's not working. I guess I'll have to do it the hard way. You guys ready to do some work? Yes. All right, let's go. So the other night the boys were really good about helping to clean out the garage and we got it all cleaned up and we went out to get the boat and bring the boat in <laughs> and in one of the more embarrassing moments of my boating career so far managed to get the boat halfway through the house before we realized that there was no way it was going to fit down in the basement. Arguably as someone proficient with a tape measure I should have seen that coming. Um, I, I'm pretty used to getting things down in the basement so I didn't really measure anything because I figured I'd be, figure out a way to get it around the corners, but about the longest thing I can get down there is 12 feet, and 14 feet long and 4 feet wide was never going to fit. So for the next few days at least, the weather's nice out here, and we can maybe get a little bit of work done on the deck, maybe maybe build a little tarp over it or something, I don't know. Um, but it might make working on the boat this winter a little bit more difficult, but we'll, we'll see how far we can get before the weather really gets cold and do the best we can. So, 
we know from weighing your boat that it weighs more than probably than it really should. And from pushing on the deck, it's it softer, well right? It's kind of soft. So these boats have styrofoam blocks between the top hull and the bottom hull, and they should be sealed all the way around the edge. And from the damage here, and from the fact that it's soft, probably it's got water in from leaks around the edges, and the styrofoam blocks have shifted and they're not attached. So what we need How to do. How are we going to get the styrofoam blocks attached? Good question. What we need to do is we need to dry it out. Uh -oh. Right to get all the extra water out, and then, we need to, and then we need to get, get inside and reattach the foam blocks. Wait, so the very inside? first inside. So the very first thing we're going to uh -oh. do with your brand new boat is drill holes in it. And I'm not going to drill holes in your boat. Oh no! You're going to drill holes in your boat, right? So we're going to put this in it. This is an inspection port. So this seals inside, and then you can unscrew it to see inside the boat. Make sense? Okay. Now this is a phantom sailboat and there's a lot of information about sunfish, but not as much about phantoms. Why? Because there aren't as many. But the one picture I did see had an inspection port kind of in the center between the splash guard and the mast. So like right about there. So what we're going to do is we're going to Wait, put some... what happens if you put it like right here? Well, what you'd want to, ideally what you want to do is you don't want to have it where one of those foam blocks we were talking about is. But which it's is, a tape Which is kind of difficult, because I don't know where the foam blocks are. What if you so, make a foam block? Well, then you kind of carve some away and put something there anyway. Daddy? Yes? What's the tape for? The tape is to try and keep the fiberglass from splintering so much when we cut it. Okay? Uh -oh. So we're going to put it right about there. Max, can you hold down right in the center? Okay, and I'm going to trace around it. All right, here's our drill. So it doesn't matter where you put the hole, anywhere in that center, anywhere at all. All right, go ahead and go. Do I Wait! This is YouTube. Screw. No, this is YouTube. And if I let you use this drill like that on YouTube, there's going to be 5,000 people that go, he's not wearing safety glasses. He's going to hurt himself. So we need to get you some PPE. What's PPE stand for? Personal protective equipment. All right, you sit tight, I'll get you something. Here are your safety glasses. Those are yours. Hearing protection. Oh, come on. Oh. Dust protection. Really? You're lying. Why? No, it's very important. Safety is very important. Mm -hmm. And And just in case we didn't get enough, don't get back here. Oh, and a face come. shield, too. Oh. Okay, all right, here we go. You ready? I can barely see. I, but you're safe, even though you can only barely see. So let's just squeeze the trigger right there. Super hard. All right. Whew. That's a hole. Your boat's got a hole in it, dude. It's going to sink. Can I see? Don't blow yet. Okay. With a more moderate level of safety. So now we have a hole. Uh-huh. We're going to cut this line out to be able to fit your access port in. Okay? Well, if it's not exactly perfect. We'll do the best we can. I want Daddy to do this part. How we go get it out, it will just fall in the boat. Here, pull up a little piece of tape here. Let's unplug that. Oh, yeah, Alright, what do we see? Well, we didn't hit any foam, that's good. I also don't see any water in there. There's one fence. Ew. Um, what's all the other stuff in oh, it there? does feel wet. Wait, it does? It what's actually... The, what's the yellow stuff? Actually, what it looks like... Ooh, it smells bad in there. It looks like someone has been here before us. This looks like the kind of foam that you can just buy... You can just buy at the construction store. And it's not really designed for boats. 
it's pretty soft. Okay. I don't know how waterproof it is or how long it'll hold up. Um, one of the brands is great stuff that I've used before, but not close. What's the orange one? This other stuff is, ooh, that's wet. This other stuff is much firmer. Oh, but yeah. if you squeeze it, it's kind of wet almost. And oh. You can't squeeze any water out of it, but it feels very damp. And what's the orange type? And it all smells very, here, if you smell that, it smells very musty. Kind of like a pond or something. <gasps> yeah, it doesn't smell good at all. I could smell drama, it all the Drama! Drama! What are you doing? No. Dad, what are you doing? Oh, see, here's a good one. So this is... Okay. So they're thin. They're... I thought these were like four or five inch wide blocks, but they're only... The ver they're vertical blocks and they're only that thick. I'm so sorry. Max, if you... If you that one's a little loose. If you very gently reach in and grab this block right there, the edge of that block right there, mm -hmm. you can wiggle it back and forth a little bit. Okay. Is it Good? supposed to do you that? No, it's not supposed to do that. Not at all. So you can just barely see the block there in the hole. This is looking through the hole. And you can see two different colors of foam there. There's the light yellow, yeah. okay. which is probably just feels just like hardware store. And then there's a darker yellow underneath it that's original to the boat. So someone at some point has attempted to fix this, um, but it, the repair didn't last very long. And from what I've read online, that's not uncommon to try and fix this problem where the, the styrofoam comes detached inside the hull and have it not work or not last very long. Um, but we got to open it up anyway to dry it out. So once, while we're in there, we'll see if we can fix this. The way we're going to dry this is by getting airflow through the hull. We're going to put a fan on one side, but then we need somewhere for the air to come out. So we're going to put another access hole back here, and we're going to use a slightly smaller port for that because we don't need as hopefully we don't need to get into this area as much. We just need the airflow. Okay. All right. So the same thing, smaller hole. Are you okay? Yeah. I did fall. I oh, that was I just slipped a on a wire. Max had a choke. I'll just get these on. So you can see that how wet the foam is. I can actually get some water just by squeezing the foam, and that's just straight out of the boat. So we're gonna put a fan on this and let it run as long as we can, and then hopefully we can evaporate about 25 gallons of water, I mean 25 pounds of water out of this thing, which is just about three gallons of water. So what we need to do, because it's outside, is we're gonna have to put some screen over these holes because otherwise you'll get bugs and creepy crawly things living in there um, but until then we'll put some tape over it and then we can go out to the store and get uh, so like some window screen or something <laughs> 